All right, hello everyone. So I really wanted to show you guys, um, well, this is one of my favorite toys here. And uh, I wanted to tell you a little bit about it. So this is my 22 and I wanna see the shit. Hey, Case Johnson, hello. Hello everybody, Colin, Kirby. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a little update. Basically, coming up on Saturday, my brother asked me if, he, if I wanted to go do a uh, pheasant hunt. So, there's also going to be rabbits in the area. This this is my 22 Browning, and it has a gold trigger on it. It's a pretty nice. This is actually one of my favorite um, my favorite pistols. This is the only pistol that I do own. It's a 22 caliber, but um, I like to use it for even pheasant. I got actually I got a 50 yard pheasant with it one time, and that was pretty awesome. Hey, thank you, Colin. Samuel Evan, hello. Hello, Kyler. So yeah, I really wanted to let you guys know. Um, I am gonna go out on Saturday, like I said, and I'm gonna be using my 12 gauge Benelli for pheasants. I'm hoping that we can actually get some. I haven't shot any pheasants in a long time, but it should be a fun experience. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was gonna let you guys know. So if you wanna know about how the pheasant hunt goes, unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna be able to make a video of it because it's gonna be really difficult to try and do a pheasant hunt and uh, record it at the same time. Because um, especially, you know, I don't have a GoPro or anything on my gun, but I'll be able to take some pictures, put it on Instagram. So I'll definitely be able to do that. Uh, your boy Lucky. I might be able to get a little video of it, but I don't know. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be really tough. Plus I'm gonna be with my, my uh, two brothers as well. And my dad will be there too. So, um... oh, nice one West House, what did you get? Well, this is my 22 Browning right here. And I mean, a 22 would work just fine for a pheasant. It doesn't really wreck any meat as long as you hit it somewhere in the neck area or towards um, towards the head, you're fine. You're not gonna really uh, wreck any meat at all. So you'll be just fine with that situation there. I got one with this actually at 50 yards in my uh, parents' driveway. I remember, I, I'm pretty sure it was 19 or 20 at the time and um, I could see him just sticking his head up uh, probably 50 yards away. And I remember when I took a shot, I, I took a long time to aim, but when I pulled the trigger, it didn't even move. So this, this uh, pistol is really, really accurate. Hey, thank you, Halo Star Wars Josh. Thank you so much. Hello, Levi. So yeah, it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't really go shoot it right now, but um, it's gonna be pretty fun to go on a pheasant hunt. I haven't gone in a while. It's been probably probably five years since I've gone on a pheasant hunt. We're just going to go around and see if we can't find some roosters. We're going to take my brother's uh, poodle pointer. I don't know if you guys know what a poodle pointer is, but... Hey, you got a rabbit at 50 yards with the six-shooter. Nice. Hey, Gus. Hello. Uh, Kent. Hello, Kent. My Instagram is 100DD33, so you can check that out. And like I said, I'll definitely be putting some pictures on there of the pheasant hunt and let you guys know how that's gonna work. But, um, hello Lolo, Beast Gaming, hey, what's up? Yeah, I just got your uh, request. Hey Jeanette, and Austin. Oh, you just got a hog at 40 yards with the bow, nice, nice job. Uh, I'm gonna be playing, there's gonna be a video for uh, tonight too, so you'll be able to watch that as well. But I wanted to give you guys an update about, um, well, I'm going to try and get some rabbits, but we're definitely going to be going for pheasant. So I have my Benelli and I also have my uh, 22 Browning on me, just in case the rabbit comes ru comes running out. Uh, we're probably not going to use the 22s for a rabbit, I mean for pheasants, but th this is uh, my 22 Browning pistol. It's pretty cool. I got it for my grandpa, actually. And, um, I mean, it's just a pistol, but it shoots super fast. It's only a 22 caliber. So, yeah, yeah, it has a gold trigger. That's the fav my favorite part about it. It's all black with a nice gold trigger on it. And, uh, let's see, here's, here's a clip. I actually have two clips. So I have this one, I have another one in case it runs out of money. Uh, I got this from my, from my grandpa. He had a few, he had a few um, guns at his house and he, uh, well, once he got older, he wanted me to have one and my other two brothers got one. 
So, um, well, I have two two ten round clips. Uh, so, and I also have three uh, fifty packs or hundred packs of of twenty two shells. So, I'll definitely be able to be all right there. Uh, yeah, message me on Instagram for sure. No, this is a semi-automatic. I would try and show you, but yeah, I can't. I can't do it one-handed. It's too hard. Plenty of ammo. Yeah, I should be good. Hey, Trey, thank you. Yeah, so. Oh, you got your first deer? Uh, Pedro, what's up? Hello, Eric. Cassandra Betchatel, of course you can. I really appreciate that. And I, I uh, wow, that's really cool, Cassandra. Thank you. Hey, Eric, how's it going? The fishing monster. Yeah, so I thought I would do a live stream here. So, hey, thank you, Parker. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I'll have to check that out, Colin. Sounds good. I have two 20, actually two 10 round clips. So I have 20, 20 rounds altogether. Oh, you got a big turkey. Nice. Congratulations on that. Congratulations. Hey, that's awesome, Justin. I appreciate that. Yeah. So the thing is, I'm going to need to go to Walmart and I think I'm going to go get some uh, six shot for my Benelli. Um, but I don't have any chokes for it. The last time I shot it was for duck hunting and turkey, and I have a extended full choke because a lot of times the fish ducks and um, like hooded megansers and, and buffalo heads and stuff, they all fly really far away, so they're like 50, 60 yards. But I think a super, uh, ex extra full choke for pheasant might be a little bit too much. So I might have to get an improved cylinder choke, um, but I think I'm gonna be using six shot for my Benelli. So that should work out pretty good. My brother's gonna come. He's gonna bring. He's gonna be bringing his uh, twenty gauge pump. Uh, no, there's no mule deer around here. Oh, you got a one sixty four whitetail. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Dom Sully gang. Hello, Mandy. West House, what's going on? Uh, Trey, actually, I'm the oldest. I am the oldest of three. I have two younger brothers. This pistol I got from my grandpa, but I believe it's worth probably, well, it's a little bit more expensive because it's, this is a limited edition. I don't know if it says on here. No, it doesn't, but I do have the box that, that this came in and um, it shows that it's a limited edition. So it's probably worth, maybe 400 without the addition, without being limited edition, it'd probably be worth maybe 300. Uh, hey, thank you, West House, I appreciate that. Peyton, what's going on? Yeah, you must not be uh, too far away. Hey, Fish Catcher, thank you. Aiden Ferguson, hello to you too. Uh, deer hunting, where are you gonna go deer hunting, farm boy? Oh, you have a 22 too? Yeah, my grandpa gave me mine as well. Actually, this is the only um, gun that that my uh, family gave to me. All the other ones I bought myself. My 243 and my Benelli and my bow. No, I've never gotten an elk. My dad has though. Should travel to Idaho and get a mule deer. Yeah, Idaho is really cool. I like driving through there actually. I was there on an elk hunt when I was 17 with my dad. We went out probably eight nights in a row and never even saw one. But then the last night I didn't even go and he ended up uh, gut shooting one. It ran, I don't even know how far it ran, but he, I helped him track that thing the next day for it's like three hours through the mountains. He had some intestine blood, but that was it. We never even found him. Dawson, yeah, exactly. We used to hunt with beagles all the time. We had two beagles. One was called Dixie, was the was the male, and then the female was Stubby. So I don't know why the names were uh, chosen for that, but those were the names that ended up getting picked. And um, yeah, we used to use beagles all the time. So then basically they would be uh, like a partner. One would run around the front, one would go around the backside, and next thing you know, they'd be chasing the two rabbits right to us. 
we had our 20 gauges and 22s. So, hey, Mark Brown. Hey, sounds good, Mike, Michelle. Sounds good. Hey, sounds awesome, Trent. I appreciate that. Yeah, Cassandra, I'm sorry about that, but I'm really happy that uh, my videos make you happy. Thank you. Uh, that's a good question, Nate. I watch all kinds of videos. Um, I'm working on maybe getting on their channel soon. Possibly towards uh, hunting season. Oh, you got your first mythical. Congratulations, Beast Gaming. That's awesome. I really wish I could find a mythical uh, Redger even. I mean, obviously a Legendary would be even cooler, but mythical is just as cool. Hey, Hayden, what's going on? Uh, Eric, yes, I did watch Kendall Gray. He's pretty awesome. He's a really good uh, channel to watch for sure. How many animals do you got? Um, uh, not too many, but enough. Hey, Rage. Hello. All right, guys. So uh, I just want to let you